Howdy. This is the Gene Machine, coming at you live from the corner of my room. And today I thought we would take a look at some Tales of Wind advertisements. Now, Tales of Wind has one of the most scummiest companies I have ever seen, and that is saying a lot, considering there's companies out there like Lilith Games. This company is so terrible that I have, in the past, made a 40-minute video on them that is, unfortunately, now privated. I'll talk a little bit more on them later, but for now, let's take a look at the first ad. So in the first ad, uh, there's a narrator telling us what their personal pick is for the best class in the game, and then it's uh, topped by some gameplay showing said class and showing how powerful they can be. Now from face value, that doesn't sound too bad. But if that was the case, we wouldn't be talking about this, and oh man, is it nothing like that. First off, I find it funny that the company themselves, like the company who's making these ads, are literally telling you the best class in the game, as if they know themselves that their balancing isn't good. But second, in case you were wondering, the narrator I was talking about isn't actually a person. Take a listen. Attention please, here I bring class selection tricks in Tales of Wind. You must begin your journey with Archer Sylvanus. I'm going to assume that the people working on the sad are probably all Chinese. So, talk about lazy. They couldn't even hire an English person to do their English ad for them, so instead they had to do a text-to-speech voice. At least, that's what I assume their thought process was. Of course, we can't just not mention the fact that everything within this ad is fake. I'm talking the models, the gameplay, the animations, the background, the graphics, everything within this ad is fake. Which is no surprise coming from a company like this. Literally, almost every one of their ads for this game, Tales of Wind, is just like this, where almost everything in the ad is fake. In fact, what's so scummy about that is... When you look at the gameplay and you take a look at the health bar, you have to realize that there is somebody out there who deliberately and intentionally animated that health bar so that it would match up with the animation going on. Talk about scummy. But anyway, moving on to the second ad, it's pretty much just showing character selection and pet selection and whatnot. And then at the end, it shows you actually a little giveaway that they're doing, at least I would assume from the advertisement. Now, first off, again, everything in this ad, with the exception of, I believe, the models this time, are completely fake. Even the stats that they're showing for the characters are fake. It looks like one of the developers told their children to make up the stats for them on the spot. Also, let's mention the pet garden thing in the middle of the ad. I find that funny because they're trying to make it seem like, oh, look, there's this big pet garden you can go to to go see all your pets, kind of like the Chow Garden from Sonic Adventure. But... It's absolutely nothing like that. In the actual game, it's just a little list that you can look at of all your pets. But I mean, come on. Are we really surprised that this company is lying about this at this point? Lastly, I want to talk about that little Switch and iPhone and whatnot giveaway. Now, what I found was that this was an actual giveaway. Yes, they did do this giveaway. They gave away Switches, Amazon gift cards, iPhone Xs, and whatnot. But I want you to just keep in mind that this giveaway is an entire year ago. They did it an entire year ago. I got this advertisement about two weeks ago. They're still advertising this, making it seem like they're still doing the giveaway. They couldn't have the competence to update their ad so that it no longer shows they're doing that giveaway. And quite honestly, I kind of feel that it was intentional. I think the funniest part about this ad is probably the fact that when comparing the models to everything else in the scene, like the backdrop and the graphics and whatnot, the models look disgusting compared to everything else. And so, personally, I find that quite heavily ironic. But, with that being said, in conclusion, I would recommend you don't download this game, nor any game from this company. This game comes from the company Neocraft Limited, who have made only two other games, at least on their Google Play page, which is Eternal Sword M and Immortal Destiny. Now, like I said before, I made a very long video on this company as a whole, and I've just found so many things about this company that is just downright terrible. So, I would recommend, like I said, not downloading any of these games, nor any game from this company in the future. They are the bottom of the barrel when it comes to scum in mobile game companies, 
and I don't think they'll change that anytime soon. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching the video. Do you have an ad you'd like to see make it onto a video and or want to join an active community that shares the same feelings towards mobile game ads as you do? Feel free to join the Discord, link to which will be in the description down below, and feel free to follow me on Twitter and Twitch at GeneMachine99. And with all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay real.